Hi, and on this lesson I will explain you what is a RAID 10 level of redundancy array of independent disks. So minimum disks you need four for this. If you want to <coughs> set up a RAID 10, you will uh, put together four disk minimum <coughs> at, uh, as one logical disk. If you want to put more, you need to put in, in the pair. So if you want to put more than uh, four, it should be six, uh, next eight, ten, and uh, etc. Okay, so how files are written to this, the disk? So for example, we have two files here. Let's write the first one. Okay, so as you see, file the first file <coughs> part of it just 50 percent of this file written to one hard drive the, to the second hard drive it's doing a, a mirroring it's doing a raid level one if you know raid level one is just mirroring so it's doing exact mirroring on this on the another pair of the disk it's doing <coughs> the second it's writing the second part of the file and doing the mirroring uh, for the second part so as you see, uh, it's stripping as, as, as a rate is zero. So let's write the second file. It's the same exactly. It's divided to two parts. One part written here, uh, mirroring into the, to the another drive. Second part written here and <coughs> with, uh, mirror created. As you see, this is just RAID one mirroring, and this is also mirroring, and <clears throat> what is uh, putting all of this together is RAID 0, which is stripping just to divide the files to, to two parts, part here and the second part here. <clears throat> so it's really RAID 10, it's expensive because uh, when you have four disks with one terabyte each one, you have available only two terabytes. Two, another, just a, you use a RAID used for backup, for mirror. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's expensive, <laughs> you need to buy um, more hard drives and to, to get only 50% of the space. But the performance is super great. It's write to four disks at the same time. It's read from the four disks from, uh, at the same time. So performance really, really one of the greatest. Uh, also, the fault tolerance. It can support up to two disk failure at the same time but with limitation these two disks should not be from the same pair let me show you one disk failed and the second disk failed on the same time yeah it's really a rare uh, incident uh, the two disks failing uh, exactly on the same minute because within one disk failing the system administrator should go and just replace it but here we have two disk failure you see <coughs> what uh, what stay with us disk with part one and here disk with uh, part two of the files everything available all files I save it we don't we not impact it we just need to replace it with two disks and that's all but think about if uh, this pair with part one two disk this disk and this disk failing yeah you're in the problem you just leave it with a uh, part two and <laughs> your data is lost completely you will not able to recover but it's what the what the percent uh, what the chance uh, that your two disk will fail in the same minute in the same five minute it's really a rare issue so yeah <clears throat> rare ten uh, rate ten is definitely definitely great great uh, redundancy <clears throat> yeah your data will be available so that's all as you see it's just a build from rate uh, one and rate zero that's all <clears throat> see you next lesson bye